With increasing human encroachment, wild animals have nowhere to go. They are increasingly being sighted in human habitations. But the question is, are they invading our territory or are we encroaching on their habitat? Let's take a look at the challenges faced by the National Park to maintain its wilderness. Rising temperatures, scarce water supplies, low soil fertility and severe droughts have become common in the Sudan. After years of desertification, the country's rich biodiversity is under threat. Dinda National Park enjoys the richest wildlife in the Sudan. The park has a variety of habitats that make it a safe haven for wildlife. From freshwater lakes that dot the woodlands of the park for the giraffes and cattle to the savannas that are a flyway for migratory birds. But with the mounting human encroachment, the national park is in danger. The park was sparsely populated when it was first declared a protected reserve in 1935. But in recent decades, the population has soared in the villages that dot the park and its surrounding buffer zone. This has created huge pressure for new land to grow crops. And as cattle herders traditional grazing lands have been ploughed up, they in turn have increasingly encroached on the park in search of pasture. In regards to our demands, we want to be allowed to cultivate mechanically as it would be really good for us. Traditional agriculture is difficult and useless. I have a family of more than 20 members, therefore traditional agriculture makes my situation very difficult. Human encroachment disturbs the park's wildlife in other ways too. Hungry villagers often harvest wild honey from the park's woods. They light fires to create smoke to ward off the bees. All of this in breach of park rules. As a result of which, the rangers patrol the rugged terrain in search of violator, who can face hefty fines or up to six months in prison depending on the offense. In the recent period, this park has been exploited through aggressive cultivation, logging and hunting. These are all threats to the reserve which are considered the largest reserve in Northern Sudan and has also become the last refuge for wild animals in Northern Sudan. Over a million species are at risk of extinction. Dozens of countries are pushing to protect the planet's land and water, like the residents of the nearby villages to Dinder National Park. The wildlife of the park has become a victim of the city's uncontrollable growth. The lack of planning has led to human encroachment onto the protected area, endangering the well-being of wildlife, with an invasion by domestic pollution and exploitation through excessive hunting. Bureau report, Vion, World is One.